Hello and welcome to the Quick 3C Exploit Client Software Review. This soft phone is perhaps the most integrated soft phone when you take into account its good presence indication. And it can be used by those who stay at their desk very well as a primary phone and I even used it on a laptop with Wi-Fi for a week with very good results. One of the things that I like about the phone is that you can really use it via the keyboard. In other words, I can dial, just making a call there, hit enter and it dials, hit escape and it and it hangs up. So you can really use your keyboard. Also, we'll notice it has a hold button, has a transfer button, has a history button where you can see the last calls in and out, and also actually dial the calls again if you want to. Uh, it does lack a redial, simple redial button. I wouldn't say that's a real big drawback. Also has a mute button so that you can uh, mute your side of the conversation. Also has a volume control down here and the pick up or dial and hang up button. Also you can dial with the mouse if you want to and also if you want to dial other extensions you can just click on them over here in the presence area. And if we look along the top here once again we have the make call, the hang up, transfer a call, and an interesting button here, transfer to voicemail, so the person, the person's phone doesn't ring at all. We have the hold button once again. Then another thing, once a phone call is established, you can just click this to record the call and then click it again to stop recording. Very nice. Doesn't give any indication to the other party, uh, but a very nice way to silently record a call. And make sure that you obey laws in your, in your uh, area, of course. And also we have another button here. This phone can be used, this, this soft phone can be used as presence indication only or as a, totally as a phone. Then another item we have here is the away or busy and away. If you click the away, you'll notice down here that the light on your phone and everyone else's phone will go black to let them know you're not there. Click it again and it turns back to green. And green means that you're available, of course. And if we make a call here, we'll notice something else. You'll notice yellow means that the phone is busy. And red means that the phone is not even plugged in or it's not logged into the PBX. All right. Speed dials are nice to use. And those speed dials, if we just scroll down here, we'll see them. You just click on them and they'll dial that number. Double click on them. Um, they are a little clunky to add. If we go up here, speed dials, you would expect that you could just enter numbers like in Excel, but you can't. You have to click add first. Then click up here and type in your number. Hit enter. I don't know that there's a way to import, but once again, that's how you enter speed dials. And you can, we didn't follow the, through here, but these, this turns off showing extensions. This sh shows, turns on and off showing SIP trunks or PSTN trunks. And this turns off whether or not speed dials are shown. And also, if you want to add more indication, you can click that as another column. That's really all it's doing. It doesn't have a real nice way to just drag the size if you're really adding or removing columns there. Setup is very simple. Basically, all you need to do is type in the IP address of the 3CX PBX, type in the extension, type in the pin, and really, it will log in and be ready to go. Another thing that's really nice is if we go into File, Preferences, right down here you're going to notice that we can notify an external program, so an internal call, I mean, incoming call pop. The outgoing, there's also a driver installed so you can make outgoing calls from Outlook without any additional software. If you want to use the incoming with Outlook, you're going to need a program such as Identipop. And you can Google that to see what it is. But there's n other programs like that. But that will be that will go between Outlook and the 3C exploit client. Three CX VoIP client can be very used very well for people that just stay at their desk. Customer service reps, service managers, salesmen that need to walk around likely will not need will not like to use this software VoIP client be, and one of the reasons is not very good remote headset support in other words uh, with a hard phone I'm used to walking around pressing a button on my headset that picks the phone up I don't know that there's a good interface for that I've seen different people asking that but I have not seen anyone that actually does that so if somebody's at their desk most of the day when they're working I think they could 
use the 3CX VoIP client as their primary phone. If they get up away from their phone and back to their phone, then they probably want a hard phone with a headset or a, a wireless headset. Another thing the VoIP client doesn't do, which is not surprising, is that it does not do it does not do video calls. If you want that, I suggest you take a look at XLite. But note, you're going to lose a bunch of things like call recording, presence, that type of thing. Another thing that that a lot of people note is it has an awful ringtone. If you have this set to ring on your speakers or your PC, your coworkers may dive under nearby desks to escape the awful sound. In all seriousness, that's probably one of the few problems with this, and it could be remedied by changing a WAV file, which I just have not got around to doing. But if you're going to use this thing, you're going to want to use a good headset. I suggest something like Plantronics you can get for around $20, but if you get a good headset, it will work nice. Every now and then, some people have their volumes up too high. It feeds from the earpiece to the, to the, to the uh, mic, so you ha might have to keep that volume down just a little bit. Another thing we've noticed that the 3CX VoIP client does not work very well with Vista. We've noticed many cases of one-way audio. The person can't hear you when you call them or they call you. So I would suggest if you're going to do a big rollout, avoid Vista. Another thing is this VoIP client can be used on a remote laptop connecting to your headquarters. And I would suggest using a VPN to make sure it works every last time. There is also a built-in tunnel I have not had much success with, but it does work. Also, you can monitor if you use call queues in a service scenario, you can see the status of call queues, which I don't have set up right here, but you can do that. I would say that the 3CX VoIP client is a nice soft phone, provides some of the best indication in a soft phone that I know of, has a nice little record button there, integrates very tightly with 3CX IP PBX that's based on Windows, and also, it can be used with any SIP provider. So I think it's a nice phone. Has you know maybe could use just a little bit in the area of fit and finish, but uh, really overall very good phone. Works very nicely with 3CX. Thanks.